Caliphates of Jordan. Hi, this is Julie Jules Cruise Companion. Today, in collaboration with Wheels Over Jordan, I'd like to explain to you what my thoughts were when I first went to Jordan. Jordan is in the crossroads of the Middle East, coming out of Africa into Europe. I first went to Jordan to see Petra. I went via boat in 2017 and entered in the port of Aqaba. And since then I've been back five more times flying in to the Queen Alia Airport in Amman into the north. Learning about the history of Jordan, the historical periods in Jordan are described by the ruling groups of the time and that depends if they originated as a caliphate or a sultanate. I got confused with all the information that people were saying to me. They were describing Fatimids, Ayyubids, Umayyads, Abbasids, Mamluks and Ottomans. I didn't know what it meant. I knew that a caliphate was a semi-religious political system and that a caliph was the Islamic spiritual leader who claimed succession from Muhammad and that a sultanate was a dynasty of sultans that had authority over a region. So I asked my friend Sarah, what is all this about caliphates and sultanates? She said, some were ecclesiastical, religious, or some were non-denominational, not religious. They weren't actually linear. Some of them did overlap. All were characterized by regional struggles. She explained to me that the Rashidun Caliphate were the first four caliphs, Abu Bakr, Umar ibn al-Khattab, Uthman ibn Affan, Ali ibn Abu Talib. Ibn means son of, so it would be Uthman, son of Affan. It's important to remember these names as they will come up later. Umayyads reigned for the next 89 years and they had 15 caliphs including Marwan the first, first cousin of Uthman ibn Affan and Umar ibn Abad al-Aziz, the great grandson of Umar ibn al-Khattab, those names that I mentioned earlier. A significant milestone in the Umayyad Caliphate was Abd al-Malik's building of the Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem al-Quds in 691. Then along came the Abbasids and they ruled twice over hundreds of years. The first Caliphate had 39 Caliphs including al-Mansur, son of Muhammad ibn Ali ibn Abdallah. The second had 22 caliphs, including al the III, who ruled twice and was the last Abbasid caliph. The Abbasid Caliphate was known as the Golden Age of Islam, characterised with stability, learning, innovation, trade and the spread of Islam. But it fell through power struggles and high taxation and a Mongol invasion. Then came the Fatimid. Caliphate. There were 14 caliphs who were Shia or Shiite. Shiite Ali means rightful successor of Muhammad through Ali. Ali was Muhammad's cousin and son-in-law as he was married to the Prophet's daughter Fatima. Fatimids were rivals to the Abbasids and they were significant for their religious tolerance. They declined with the arrival of Salah Hadin and the Ayyubid invasion. Along came another Umayyad Caliphate. This time there were 11 caliphs, including Abd al Rahman III, a descendant of Hashim ibn Abu al Malik, who built Al Quds, and Hashman III, the grandson of Abd al Rahman III. This Umayyad Caliphate was known for its ex aggressive expansionists through holy wars as they expanded into Cordoba, Andalusia, which is modern day Spain. They were not solely based on Islam as they had Christian advisors and Zoroastrian scribes, but it fell because of unrest for it was thought they were becoming too secular. 
For the 89 years of the Ayyubid Caliphate, it had 14 emirs because they were Sunni Kurds. Sunni or al Sunnah, meaning tradition, believing that Abu Bakr was the first caliph. The most famous was Salahuddin, uniting the Islamic states and resisting the Christian crusades to the Holy Lands. Then came the Mamluk Sultanates over the next few hundred years, and I will get some of these names wrong. There was 47 sultans over three dynasties. There was the Sultai, the Baha'i Turkic, and the Bajai Circassian. The, the 34th sultan during this period was Al Musata in Villa, who was a Mamluk Abbasid caliph. The next few hundred years, Jordan was ruled by the Ottoman Turks. There were over 26 sultans over many dynasties. But the important part for Jordanian history is the fall of the Ottoman Empire after the Great Arab Revolt of 1916 to 1918, led by Sharif Hussein ibn Ali's sons Abdullah and Faisal. After the fall of the Ottoman Empire, Jordan became a British protectorate and that has led to the current Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan. So that's what I've learned about Jordan over the last couple of years visiting. So this is Julie, Jules Cruise Companion. Follow me on social media. And you can purchase my book, Handy Cruise Companion, on Amazon. And Wheels Over Jordan will be excited to welcome you to Jordan once the restrictions on travel have finished.